Hi YouTube, uh, this is in Amica 4 again and this is a video on showing you how to um, basically stream um, video content or even pictures uh, from your Samsung Galaxy S2 smartphone and to your uh, DLNA enabled HD TV. This particular TV is a Samsung LED 40 inch um, 7020 um, TV. I've had this for nearly a year now and I can highly recommend it. Um, what we're going to do, I'm not going to even bother tuning it to a particular channel. Um, so we haven't done no configuration to it at all. Uh, all it is, it's an internet ready TV. It's already connected to my network via network cable um, as I've always had it like that. Uh, I've done no extra tweaking to it at all. Um, so all we do is we've just switched it on. Uh, if we go to um, if we go to a Samsung Galaxy S2, what we need to do is select the video that we want to stream. Um, so what we do is we go to from our Samsung Galaxy S2 smartphone. We go to applications. From applications, we want to find the all share application. Um, I've got that included in my multimedia folder. Uh, this application gets included on this old Samsung uh, Galaxy S2s. So if we just select that, the All Share app comes up saying videos, pictures, and audio. And basically, it says there share multimedia content with DLNA compliant devices. Uh, obviously, this can be um, PCs, laptops, TVs, anything that's DLNA certified. Um, you can restrict the uh, Galaxy S2 to only um, share certain type of content. We can check that by clicking on the menu button and then as settings. From settings it says share video, share picture, share audio and you, obviously you can just select and deselect those as you will. And that's uh, selected uh, all of those so we want to share it share all those various types of formats. From the application screen, hit videos. From videos, scroll down to the video that you want to stream. Uh, obviously just tap the video. Um, it tells you what devices it's found within its range that are certified as DLNA. Obviously this one's just found TV, so you just tap TV. It says it's buffering. The TV says media will be played from mobile device. Then it says preparing to play in the top right hand corner there. And then it starts to play. Again, this is HD content. There's no cable between the TV and the phone. And you can see the status towards the bottom uh, that is beginning to play with the controls. I'm just going to increase the volume again. If you see, I'm tapping the upper button and you can see the volume on the TV is going up. I haven't even got the remote for the TV in my hand. And the same way if I turn the volume down off the handset, the volume of the TV is going down as well. How cool is that? Again, I'll just stop that from the remote. Say, I'll say remote, the Samsung Galaxy S2. That was a streaming of HD video from the Galaxy S smartphone, uh, Galaxy S2 smartphone, should I say, uh, to a DLNA enabled TV. Uh, the media works in the same way um, if you were to stream a picture, for example, if you're taking a picture and you just want to put it on a TV so that other users can, other people in the room can see it. Uh, all you do is you go back to the main DLNA enabled screen, select picture, and then you pick from your list uh, what what photos you want to show uh, of, and then all you do is simply just select one. Say I want to pick a uh, let's just pick another one of my sons. So see what that looks like. Again, as I've tapped that, uh, it gives me a uh, list of devices that you can see if I tap TV and then it says buffering and again and you can see in the TV it just you should display the picture there we go so 
but just a picture of my, my son again on the, the Galaxy S2. And if I just bring the, the camera back into shot, you can see the controls at the bottom of the handset. We've got stop, fast forward, back, play. And it starts to cycle through the photos that I've got on my device. So if I tap forward, it says buffering again. And then you can see on the TV, it's cycling through the photos that I've got on my phone. I hit the next one again on the on the phone. It brings up another one on my son. If I, if I tap another forward one, it'll just. There you go. Shows a picture of a cat in a pot. There we go. And we can just stop stop the the slideshow by hitting the stop button. And there you go. We return to a normal screen just by hitting the back button, and then it comes up with. Just pull that on the device. Comes up with playlist will be reset. Continue. Yes, we want to continue. So all we do is hit OK because we want to exit the application, and then we hit back again, and then it takes us to the main screen, and then back again. It says all share will close. Linked devices will disconnect which is obviously to be expected because it's going to disconnect itself from sharing click OK and that's it and that's been how to stream HD content from your Samsung Galaxy S2 smartphone to your DLNA certified LED TV um, as I say yeah, subscribe from the link above to my channel and obviously any comments just below um, if you need me to do any suggestions at all uh, or if you need me to do any particular videos by all means comment um, or drop me an email thanks for watching bye